Hey guys, my name is Hussain Safi from hunklessons.blogspot.com. Welcome to your part 17 of your Learn JQ video series. In this part, we will be talking about some of the callback functions of our POST HTTP request. So get started. In the previous part, we have learned about a POST HTTP request. If you have, haven't visited that, go to our 16 part and visit it. Okay. Now I will go to my main to JS page and add a event here. Okay, I will write error and close it out. I'll give a function inside. Okay, that and I will call the div div hash div dot dot append append is equal to error occurred error okay error div uh, I will call that message I will create another div beneath I will give it a id of message close the div save that page out give id of message find error okay now I will mm, open the my the page Okay, refresh my page, call it hello, submit, nothing showed, it hasn't showed the error message because the error hasn't been occurred, the file has been successfully completed. If I change the name of the file to ajax.php to ajaxf.php, probably the error will, error will occur, show, it will show the error. Because an uh, error has occurred, the, pa the file hasn't been found and if I go to the console, fail to load the resource, the server respond with a status code of 404. 404 means not found, a file has been hasn't been found by our server. Okay, that's the error. Now I will add one more thing called complete. Complete. This functions fire off whenever the uh, ajax request has been completed and and the complete doesn't mean especially whenever the f file has been successfully found or not found or there is the error or not it will be far off whenever our ajax request has been completed so i will write uh, mm, hash message dot text uh, dot append complete okay now we refresh my page click that out Yada yada yada. You can see that error and complete both because the error is held because we doesn't does not have a file with ajax dot ajax dot ajax ajax f dot name, but the complete handler has fired off because the our ajax request has been completed whether whether or not it's success or it fail it doesn't means but the our function has been complete that's the function of complete now there is another function called success oh i will just show you that on one thing more if i change the name from ajax you can see that this time it also it will also show you the complete event handler complete callback function you can see that password has been saved and the function has been completed okay now i will add one more thing called success Success. Okay. Comma. Comma function. Okay. Go go go. I will call hash message dot append. Success. Okay. Now I will call it out. We must see two things: password save, complete, and success. 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 Oh, you can see that success and complete both has been fired off because our handler has been successfully completed. Now we want if I change the file name, okay, and now do that. We should see a error message and a complete message, not success message because the function hasn't been successfully completed. Submit. You can see a error and complete. Okay, guys, there are many event handlers in there limited event handlers in the post but many in the ajax so in the next part we will be calling about ajax request 
bye see ya don't forget to like comment and subscribe like us at facebook follow me at twitter subscribe us at youtube bye